there's three recognized American art forms. There's jazz, scrimshaw, and there's decoy making. And the best decoys were made here in, uh, in Massachusetts. I make decoys both of uh, shorebirds and ducks. I make a traditional style decoy. And by traditional style, I make basically the type decoys they used to make when they hunted birds. Up until the mid-1920s, uh, you could shoot as many shorebirds as you wanted to. And at that time, the law went on most of the shorebirds. It's an amazing world money-wise with the decoys. They were a niche market forever. And probably about 20 years ago, the uh, arts and crafts people out of New York got into it. And it just went, it's insane. And through the years, the, the decorative became more and more a thing. I work in cedar, and uh, most of the old decoys were made out of cedar. Cedar is light. It works fairly easily, uh, stands up very well in water. The heads on ducks are usually made out of native pine, and the pine holds detail a little better than the cedar will. The eyes are usually inserted glass. The old timers used glass from Germany, and uh, most of what I make, I use the, the same thing. And I'll paint with either oil or acrylics. I think the oil gives you a better finish, and the oil, the bird, if you've got a bird painted with oil, it will get better as it gets older, and you can you can fake with acrylic enough to make something look antique or look old, uh, but it's plastic, it's never gonna change. When I'm happy with the bird I'm gonna make, or the bird I'm making, I tend to make a wooden template out of a piece, this is a piece of quarter inch basswood. I'm gonna trace this onto a block of cedar and then I've got a big bandsaw down cellar, and I'm gonna cut these two shapes out on the bandsaw. So now I've got a square bird. I'm gonna draw the way I want it to look from the top on that blank. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the pieces I cut off attached. I'm gonna cut almost to them and leave about a quarter inch gap so that when I turn this piece over on my bandsaw, I've still got a flat surface on the bottom. So when I'm sliding it through, it's not gonna try to jerk out of my hands uh, because if it jerks out of my hands, I'm, I'm liable to lose one. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm not gonna cut the top profile that I've drawn on it. And then I'm gonna attack it with a draw knife or a hatchet. And you, you're working with a blade at all times but I'm always working with the biggest blade that, I've, that I can lay my hands on. So I'm gonna rough it down, start taking off wood with the draw knife or the hatchet, and eventually I'm gonna get it down to this shape, and then I'm gonna smooth it with a rasp. And I may or may not then take sandpaper with it, depending on how smooth I get it, what type of bird I'm making, whose style I'm trying to copy at that time with the bird, and then the bill is separate. Shorebird bills tend to be longer and thinner and they tend to break. So I'll make it out of, and they used to make it out of uh, oak because it'll stay, it's, it's a lot stronger. And I'll also cut a piece on the back so I'm making it like a dowel. I'll leave a little square part up front so it can't twist and I will make the hole through the bird, take this dowel and take the bill as it goes in so that you can pull a bill out and still have the bird. And what they used to do with a lot of shorebirds when they were through gunning is they'd throw them in a burlap sack, but you'd pull the bills out and stick them in your pocket. And then I'm gonna paint, depending on what it is, who I'm doing it for, what I'm doing, I'm gonna paint with acrylics or I'm gonna paint with oil. And as I said, I like, I like the oil a lot better. And I've always been fascinated by shorebirds, the, the life around water and, and probably the place you find the most of it 
is where you're going from fresh to salt because you're getting both really trying to push into the same place. And I, I find it a lot of fun. I find it relaxing. Uh, and I take, I feel good about what I do.